Your first assignment is to cost out a burger, the Mauricio burger. And uh, this is not as easy as it seems. Uh, I've got a little list here, some stuff that might help the project uh, be a little bit easier uh, or less ambiguous. We need details. The devil is in the details. Uh, this is operations management and uh, uh, we're doing the dimming stuff, but since most of you might not have had a business background, I do want to do you the favor of going through the process of costing out a burger. Uh, because if you don't know the cost, you can't put a price on it. There's a ton of people out there, restaurants going out of business. I don't think they know the cost of the meal, uh, the variable cost. Uh, factoring in their fixed costs and stuff like that uh, and uh, there's snack shops all over the place and do they know the cost of a taco that's the question well after this you should know and be able to better cost out things and know how much things cost in general uh, here's some steps that might help define a quality burger we can't make quality if we don't know what quality is in this case uh, I have given you uh, the items that I would like on the burger, uh, the, the toasted bun, nice and juicy, juicy, hot when it is delivered. Delivered doesn't mean to my house, it just means make it and deliver it to the walk up window or whatever that is. So here uh, with this project, I, uh, we don't have that long, right? Uh, we don't have five weeks or six weeks uh, for somebody to actually go, but what do you want on your burger? So I went ahead and, and I've already explained that. So uh, define the quality of the burger. That's done. It should be done, except I've left out a few things and I'm waiting for somebody to give me an example of uh, them getting started on costing out a burger so I can give you more feedback. Uh, so here we have already done the customer focus part. When we look at the, the system here, which we've already covered, I'm sure, at least once, it's, it's in almost every class. Uh, we have the suppliers over here of all of these things. You can tell me who your suppliers are. And then you get all the ingredients and then you have the process of building the burger. And over here, the customer is me. And I've already built in the feedback for you. And you might send the feedback to the suppliers if need be, such as the, the bun. We have big buns. They like to make the buns real big. And then uh, if you go to the store and get a pack of beef patties, they're this tiny little thing. So the ratio of the bun to the meat is all off. Where's the beef? Okay, so now, you're gonna to have to cost out all the ingredients and other variable costs that go into the making of the burger. Uh, you know what the ingredients are, hint, hint, but you don't know how much of the ingredients I want. Waiting for somebody to ask. Here's a tip for costing out uh, the ingredients. If you look at a pickle jar, it'll tell you that uh, maybe the average serving is six pickles or four pickles. And then it'll say the approximate amount of servings in the jar are 64. So then you can do your math and find out how much each pickle costs. That's the detail we're looking for. Now you say, well, oh, he's, uh, he's not in a good mood today or something. Don't you think it matters? What about McDonald's? Uh, a pickle, one pickle extra on each burger is a bunch of pickles. Okay, so read the labels and that's a tip. Uh, also, uh, the Toyota way and dimming are all about reducing waste. And when we get to that part, that's fascinating. All the ways uh, that people are wasting. Uh, their mind, motion, transportation, and my time. 
I don't want my time wasted. When I order the burger, it's gonna be assembled, made in the quickest amount of time possible. So, uh, we have the processes. Now, when the customer comes up to the window, that might not be the best time to be slicing uh, the lettuce, dicing the onions, slicing the tomato, looking for the jalapenos, uh, looking for the cheese and all of this stuff. So we do have, you can separate it into prep processes such as slice the tomato. And then you have the line process where the burger is cooked. While the burger is cooking, we need to prep the, toast the buns, load up the buns, put the cheese on the meat, assemble, wrap, bag, done. Hey, you can look uh, up video on YouTube for uh, McDonald's and watch how fast they can make a quarter pounder. Uh, so, now I said your prep processes would include maybe slicing the tomato. But what you, <laughs> how thick do you slice it? If you don't know how thick the slices are, and actually you don't know how big the tomato is going to be, how would you know how to cost out the tomato? Is it, if you cut the tomato, is that four thick slices or is it six thin slices? <clears throat> so, how thick? Now, uh, now, and then you need to add your profit margin so you can give me a price. So, uh, if we didn't have a definition of quality, how would we produce quality? How, if we don't define it, how would we know what it is? How would you, and also think about this is giving instructions to employees so they would understand it. Cook burger, what does that mean? Cook burger. Slice tomato, what does that mean? What does that mean? Um, no process, no consistency. As Toyota will say, the right process will create the right result, including with the supplies. If you have the right supplies, you built a relationship with your supplier, you have the right process, you should end up with consistency. Uh, the right process will, should create a level of consistency. Uh, and if you have no cost, if you can't tell me what the costs are, uh, you can't tell me what the price is. So here, built in, I just want to add this little bit here that we are practicing from marketing. This is market. the marketing concept. Find out what people want to begin with. Figure out a way to deliver it at a profit. <clears throat> and that's what you've done with the feedback. The selling concept is to just, like I see around town, uh, there's a little shop in my village where I could get a burger. In fact, the other night, the girls were, were going to order up fried chicken, and I, and I said, well, I'll take a chow mein. Well, they didn't have the chow mein. And the wife goes, why don't you get a burger? I go, that's not my burger. That burger's horrible. And I see the owner of that shop almost every other day. I have ordered the burger. I have not ordered one since. As the woman said, how would you like, did you like the burger? What could we do differently to make it better? But has that happened? No. She just builds a burger. That's what you get. We want to practice the marketing concept. So have I covered everything? Read the labels. Don't waste time. Uh, get to the quality. And now I guess we're moving into the white room. We got customer focus. Employees know what to do. We know the cost, we know the processes, we have things in order. Frustration is starting to move away. Customer satisfaction, product consistency. We can sleep at night. We can enjoy ourselves much better.